certainly have heard putting sugar in our coffee. And maybe a little cream. And cream. also some mushrooms. Yeah. Pardon me? It may sound strange, but it's trending. People are putting mushrooms in coffee and other drinks to reap the health benefits. Well, what are the benefits? Uh, Dr. Jen Simmons from Real Health uh, joins us now. Well, you're a physician. I am. You were a breast cancer physician for how many years? Uh, 16. 16. And now you're a functional physician. A functional medicine. That doesn't yeah. mean that you can walk and talk at the same time. You, you're more well, I can do that, though. <laughs> like, I've noticed. I have the skill. What does a fun functional mean? So what that means is that we help people to function in their best way, to live their best life, okay. their optimal life. So we help people find the root cause of whatever is derailing their health. Root causes. That, I get it then. Mm, it's root cause medicine. It's roadmap medicine. Okay. It's, it's showing you how to live in the best, most fulfilled way. Well, let's go back to the headline. Yeah. We're putting mushrooms we are. in our coffee. Why why would we want to do that? Well, first, let me say that this is functional medicine in a cup. Okay. In a okay? Cup. So, mushrooms are the detoxifiers of the forest. So, they help keep the forest well. Mm -hmm. And they do the same things in our body. Um, so, we, there are all kinds of mushrooms. Mushrooms are the kingdom of fungi. And we are big time mushroom fans around because of Kenneth Square. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these mushrooms did actually come from Kenneth they, Square. These did. These you, did. you can't shove so. them like sponges into your coffee, so it, it, you somehow get it into a powder well, form? Well, these you don't need to because these are culinary medicinal mushrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are culinary and non-culinary. So okay. the culinary ones like shiitake, maitake, this is a lion's mane mushroom. Okay. These are delicious, so they're consumed as food, and I actually prepared some for you today. Which is fine, but it's the coffee we so want to concentrate okay. on. Okay, so. so that's fine. So the the medicinal mushrooms that are not culinary, they tend to be quite bitter. Oh. So we pair them with things that are naturally bitter but delicious like so what? that your palate doesn't pick them up. So we pair them with coffee, we pair them with tea, we pair them with chocolate. Oh, so they're I not mean, just coffee. It's all sorts of no, different stuff. No, it's all, right. all sorts of different What'd stuff. What'd you put in the coffee? So this one is just straight up coffee, so that's probably not for you. But if you, if you drink a latte, I, I challenge you to taste that latte, which has reishi mushroom in it. Which is what is it again? Reishi mushroom. So that's like the king of all mushrooms. So Would that be from Reishi mushroom is an Asia? immune... It, they, they are. They're grown in China. They grow on decaying wood. And they turn decaying wood into that delicious thing. This is some of the best decaying wood I've ever had. <laughs> so, and how much would you put in? Because if it's this ground up so mushroom mix, how many spoons? They're just in. They're just in packets. They come in individual packets, yeah, just like packets. this. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, there. would you pour that whole thing into the, the coffee? You just pour that whole thing in, you yeah. add water, and you stir. So it couldn't be easier. And Oh, so it's already made in yeah. the coffee. Okay, it I is. thought it was a separate. It is. Gotcha. No, no. So the same with this green tea. Same it's with this green tea. Mushrooms are in this green tea. It's just a tea bag, yep. Oh, and it's wow. infused with the reishi okay. mushroom. I'm the tea so, drinker here. Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Smells say. the same. <laughs> now, imagine the rotting wood. And a mushroom growing on top of it. Why don't you you're imagine right. like your immune system <laughs> oh, getting blossoming? Better. Because yes. that's okay. that's actually what it's doing, Probably and it's lowering your blood pressure, lowering your cholesterol, balancing your blood sugar. I want all that. So where could I get these teas and coffees? And so stuff? these are all readily available online. These happen to be the brands that I personally consume, oh. but mm -hmm. but they're readily available. I Whole like Foods it. and. And um, health food stores, anywhere where you would normally find the good stuff, you can find medicinal mushrooms. Is there a recommended um, dose? Like, should we have a cup a, get a day? Or so all of these are foods. Yeah. So right. you would Just you would use them like you would use your your like usual food. Okay. Is that racy too? Away. The racy. That is. That is. And what's the last one? So that's a well, mushroom you can't elixir. Taste it. That's the good thing. No, you it's can't just, taste it. It tastes the like hot chocolate. Right. So, that's, so yeah. I think that mushroom elixir is actually quite delicious. And that's yeah. a way to get chaga mushroom in, which is an anti aging, um, anti inflammatory that's mushroom. That's a really good one at the end yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, the thank you. Elixir. Thank you. Yeah.